Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we have Toka from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you guys could tell, this is the, the version of the animated series. If you guys are true uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, you guys know that Toka and Razar were both in the animated series on one episode. Um, so they both showed up on it and uh, this is what he looked like or I, I, I try to get him as close to what he looked like in the animated series at least um, so uh, not to get him confused with the movie version which is this guy this is the movie version of it uh, this is from the original uh, uh, line Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line that they try to make him like look like the movie version of him but there was a cartoon version of him and this is what he looked like or at least as close as I could get him, once again, as close as I could get him to the animated series. There's one thing that he is missing, which is the tail. I completely, <laughs> completely forgot uh, to put a tail on him. So I'm sorry about that, but I completely forgot that he had a tail. And, uh, well, actually, I remembered that he had a tail, but then afterwards I was like, don't forget to put his tail. Don't forget to put his tail. And what happens? <laughs> I forget to put his tail. I forgot to put his tail for, I don't know, for what reason. I kept reminding myself. But at the time that I was reminding myself, I was sculpting something else. Or I was doing something else. So, um, I forgot. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, as a matter of fact, I just remembered right now that I, I needed a tail. So, um, anyways, so just before I get all those comments, uh, why doesn't he have a tail? What well, doesn't he have a tail? Well, I forgot to put his tail. But... Uh, other than that, um, I try to get them as close as possible to the animated series, uh, the shell and everything. So I did all the outlining thing as well as how, uh, how NECA was, has been doing it. The face is a complete sculpted face. This is completely sculpted. Uh, the neck, uh, it was originally there, but I brought it down. I cut a little piece of it here because... Uh, if you guys actually see him in the in the um, cartoon version, well, let me show you what he looks like in the cartoon version, so you guys could see that. So there you go. That's what he looked like in the cartoon version, and that's the version that I have here. Um, so um, yeah, the head is completely sculpted. I had to bring down the neck to make him look like this because his head doesn't. It's not supposed to be looking up the whole time. It's looking that way. Uh, he is squatted. That's why I have him squatted, and I will I will compare him with the other figures in a little bit. But I just want to show this guy first so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'll show the articulation. And then I'll show the comparison. So there you go. As far as articulation, it goes the exact same thing as the slash from the Turtles in Time. Uh, this does happen a lot. A lot of people were asking me on my, um, my custom figures. They're like, uh, excuse me, um... Do you get some of the rubbing, the paint rub on the joints? And I said, uh, yeah, I mean, it's common, especially for uh, um, NECA figures. Uh, the rubbing does happen. Unfortunately, it does happen. Uh, the way you prevent it from happening is you have to go in there and slice a little bit of the, of the arm off inside there. You have to pull it all completely apart, of course. Uh, cut a little piece of it. That way, uh, these two joints won't hit and it won't rub up the paint uh if you guys got the uh the leatherhead figure you guys know that the joint down here was completely rubbed off and it's like a like a flesh tone well when you move when you move the foot up and down you get a little flesh tone look because that's because of the paint rub and it comes off uh my bebop and my rock steady also did the same thing and um so yeah so i mean it happens it does happen, especially if you're doing custom figures. Uh, you could you could ask anybody that does custom figures. It is it is hard to avoid it. It's possible to avoid, but it is hard to avoid. Uh, you do have to work a lot harder for it to um, to prevent to prevent it from uh, from scratching the paint uh, from on joints because you know it is what it is. So, anyways, uh, as far as stick articulation, yes, this rotates all the way up, it moves up. Like this moves down like that once again paint rub there but it's okay i don't mind it uh head turns this way this way it goes up goes down not a big deal uh of course legs go like this 
and like that and like that to the side and back down he does have like a little swivel on, on the on the hip section if you guys got the like i said if you guys got the slash figure from the turtles in time it's this is what the figure is is the exact same figure it's just that i modified it of course to make him look like toka so there it is as far as the shell goes the exact same shell as the slash figure i just obviously painted it to make him look like toka's uh, shell so yeah uh, this is also all completely sculpted with the spikes is also completely sculpted i had to pull off the little um the the little uh the original slash already had some um i don't know what armor i guess you could call it and uh, i pulled that out and i sculpted these onto it um also these pads uh if you guys got the the turtles in time slash um, did not have these pads on. I had to actually make these pads, uh, the knee pads. Um, the the one that does have it is the Slash from the cartoon series. So he does have these, but I did, I did not make this out of the cartoon series Slash. It's once again for the billion time. <laughs> it's a Turtles in Time Slash. But uh, yeah, so there you go. I just wanted to do a little quick video and show this guy off. Um, I will put a tell and uh, I will post pictures on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't followed my Instagram, go check it out. I will leave a link down below so you guys could go check out my Instagram. All right, guys. So now is comparison time. Let me show you guys the comparison to Leonardo here from the NECA figures. Uh, it's basically kind of the same size. It's just that Toka, like I said, has his head or his neck leaning this way. Like he has a hunchback and Leonardo has a straight head. Uh, neck going straight up so that's why he's taller but it's basically like the same figure if you get, like um, the slash figure if you guys had the slash figure you guys know that um, they're basically the same body it's just that the head was different I guess but um, it's not that much smaller than this guy but um, I guess that's what in the cartoon he was they, even um, Razar even calls him short my little friend you know he's my only little friend and that's why he was he was smaller than the other figures but so i think as far as um as far as scale goes i think he came out pretty well not bad um but yeah so anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up i just wanted to show off a little uh, uh toka here from the animated series i think he came out pretty good um i will keep him in my collection and I will keep doing more uh, custom uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon series line. Uh, I try to make the ones that NECA isn't making because eventually I'll just end up buying the NECA figures. So I don't want a copy of mine and a NECA figure. But if that happens, I'll be cool too because I could just, you know, compare and contrast their figures or their figures with my figure. But anyways uh that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching oh one thing that i do want to point out guys um i do sell custom figures i do sell them um there's a reason why there are the price that they are um for some reason people think that they should be super cheap um lately i don't know why lately it's been lately that uh, some people have been complaining about the prices of them they want to get them for super cheap the figures that I make you guys have to understand that this is work <laughs> this is a lot of work to do to put every little detail in here everything that you see I have to make it by hand you see these guys they make them in a factory <laughs> they make thousands of these guys one guy sculpts an actual figure and they make a mold of it and they make thousands of copies of it and that's why they're the price that they are that's why they're cheap that's why the, i mean the figure itself isn't cheap but um the price of the figure is cheap because there's thousands and thousands of copies of them as far as my um figures there's no copies i don't make mold copies of my figures all of them are handmade they're all hand sculpted they're all hand painted and and you guys got to understand that that's work a lot of people are like uh, they want the figure cheaper you want the figure cheaper well you know you could go somewhere else if you want and get the figure cheaper if that's what you want 
the thing is that you know if the people make if i was to make mold copies of them then yeah it would be a lot cheaper but being that i'm wasting a lot of time doing these figures i'm not gonna go any cheaper i'm not you guys could go and check other custom figure uh people people that do custom figures um they also charge a lot you think that the guy that sculpted the original leonardo figure he's gonna give the original figure the custom figure that he made for 50 bucks or for i should say 25 bucks because this is a two pack this guy would be 25 bucks you think that he'll give the original the original sculpted figure of leonardo for 50 bucks no he will not <laughs> he will not give that for for 25 bucks same thing with this one i would not the, all my figures they're original figures they're originally made by me there's no copies of them you guys get original figures and that's why they're the price that they are i will not go lower i'm sorry guys i i, I feel honored that you guys want my figures and that, that makes me feel good about myself and my art but at the same time i do have to make money off of these things i'm not just gonna sell them to sell them you know what i mean i it, it would be nice like if i was working for like neca say <laughs> but uh i know for a fact that i'll never work at neca uh, i don't think neca wants anything to do with me and that's okay that's all right there's other companies out there and that's what i'm going to school for is to um be able to have well, hopefully one day actually my own company and i can make my own figures and have people working under me and you know, we could do that but um hopefully someday i could actually work for another company it doesn't have to be neca it's okay there's other action figure uh stuff out there and i could make my own figures and sell them you know in bulk like neca does sell by the thousands and that's the way you could get it cheaper but for now that i'm solo and i'm doing this by hand they will not be cheaper i'm sorry guys i i I truly am sorry, but they will not be cheaper than what I price them at. And I, I honestly think they're pretty cheap for, you know, doing the work that I do for them. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot of work that I have to put into these guys. And, and you know, for somebody to say, um, oh, could I get it cheaper? It's, it's insulting. As an artist, it's super insulting. But, you know, uh, it's just, I could just, it's just dust on my shoulder. I could just brush it away. It's not a big deal um but i'm just letting you guys know that it's it's it is what it is guys the price it is what it is and it's gonna stay that way uh sometimes i try to cut a deal with some people if i need it if i need an actual action figure like i really need an action figure like i can't get it anywhere and you happen to have it then i'll do a little trade with a little bit of money on it and that's the only way but if you try to rip me off and be like no nah, you know i'll just give you this i won't pay you blah blah, blah. that's that's a whole different story i don't like it uh, I'll just say no and just try to find a figure on my own and that's the way it is. You know what I mean? We, I, ha, I, I do do deals with people, but it has to be a good deal where it's, you know, 50-50. Both of us are happy. It's not just what you want. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, I, I, I just wanted to get that out there. I just wanted to get that off my chest because it was bothering me because recently, you know, it's been a lot of people saying the same thing. It's like they feel like it's an expensive figure. Uh, yeah it's it's art <laughs> it's gonna be expensive and like i said i don't even think my figures are expensive compared to um, other people's figures but um it is what it is also i also uh, painted the tongue inside on the teeth but yeah thank you guys anyways for watching i appreciate you guys watching me uh thank you so much and i appreciate the support i really truly do uh, as far as the small soldier figures, also, I might not be doing any more small soldier figures. Except for the people that already um, already talked to me about making the small soldier figure. Um, I will continue doing those figures for the people and finish those figures for the people that already ordered stuff for me. But I don't think I'm going to make any more small soldiers. Not for a while. So, um, yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.